everybody from Ask ATN. My name is Vasan. I am a biology faculty in Ask ATN. Today we are going to look into the chapter Neural Control and Coordination, which is a part of human physiology in class 7. So, in NEET examination, the weightage for the chapter Neural Control and Coordination is accounted to the human physiology chapter, which is the highest percentage holding in the whole unit of biology chapters okay so that is one of the reasons why i have taken one of the chapters in human physiology so now let's get into the class so we are going to see reflex action in detail now reflex action actually means action without thought processing so when we have reflex action so it actually involves both peripheral nervous system and a part of central nervous system so which together works for reflex action and here without the thought processing the processing of the matter or the stimulus actually takes care or taken care by the spinal cord here so we'll see what actually is the process of reflex action and what is the term reflex arc Okay, so reflex action actually involves a receptor, a receptor, an afferent nerve, which is sensory in function, a part of a central nervous system, which actually is the processing, an efferent nerve, which is the motor function, and the efferent organ, which is going to give us the response. Here in this GIF file, we can see that a hammer is used to hit the ligament of a muscle and that sends a sensation or a signal to the central nervous system and that literally processes the signal and without even a single thought or single second, a fraction of a second, the leg withdraws or flicks. Okay, and that sensation is sent through the motor nerves. The excitation to withdraw the leg is sent through motor nerves. So this picture of a doctor actually tapping on the knee and for which the, the patient is reacting is a very good example or a view through which we can understand what was reflex art. Now we will get a detailed study of what was reflex art. So here it actually involves the structure of the spinal cord. The structure of the spinal cord actually the cross section involves dorsal horn, ventral horn, the central canal, the gray part, and the white matter part. So these are the parts of the cross sections of spinal cord. So if you see, the sensory signal which is received from the skin is sent through the receptors and then it is connected directly to the dorsal neuron into the gray area. And this is called a relay neuron which release the process without sending it to the brain and then it will be sent, it will be conducted. The information is connected to the cell body of the motor neuron and that will be exiting, exiting out of the ventral horn and then it reaches the muscle which will help in contraction of the muscle. So because of which the effector organ which is the muscle here will contract and withdraw the hand after somebody breaks you. So this is one of the topics which I wanted to discuss with you people and to actually enjoy more videos like this, please subscribe to Ask 